We have made videos before on native plants and flowers, but what are some plants you should avoid getting? In general, you should avoid planting anything invasive or that potentially could become invasive. Invasive plants tend to spread quickly and choke out natural ones. Because they have little to no natural predators, there's nothing to hold them back from taking over. Massachusetts does have a list of prohibited plants that you can view on the mass.gov website. These plants are the worst of the worst, plants that are most at risk of harming the local ecosystem, and they are prohibited to be sold in the state. These plants are mostly ones that have already established themselves here, and have already become a legitimate threat. There are plenty of plants not on that list that you should still avoid, though. Here are a few examples. While there are multiple varieties of milkweed that are beneficial to the local ecosystem, tropical milkweed is non-native and has actually been proven to lead to worse migration and reproduction outcomes in monarch butterflies. Research also suggests that as climate change gets worse, tropical milkweed may even get more toxic to monarchs. Opt for varieties such as swamp or common milkweed instead. You should absolutely never plant mint in the ground. Mint is known as a garden bully. It spreads quickly and takes over other plants. If you are determined to plant mint, do it in a contained area such as a pot or above ground planter to avoid the mint spreading. Japanese and Chinese wisteria, while beautiful, are invasive and are notorious for quickly spreading and smothering other plants. Luckily, there is a native wisteria you can plant instead, American wisteria. American wisteria can still spread, but it's not as aggressive as non-native wisteria. And because wisteria is a vine, it can be trained to grow on things such as walls or columns. When we plant non-native plants, we run the risk of eliminating food sources for local wildlife. Local animals either won't eat it or may become sick from it. Pollinators may not feed from the flowers, and even if they do, the babies they lay probably won't be able to eat the leaves. When the insects and small plant-eating animals die off due to lack of food, the animals that feed on them will starve as well. You can do your part to prevent this by planting native plants and avoiding planting non-native ones, especially invasive ones. The Mass Audubon Society has a list of native plants that you can look at for reference, and I'll link it in the description.